One of the most requested stocks on the channel is actually a Tesla stock, ticker symbol TSLA. This is a stock I haven't talked about since 2021 pretty much. Whenever the stock was going crazy, they had the whole deal with Hertz and the stock went up like a hundred billion dollar in valuation. It was just something insane. So I made a video on it and I said the stock was overvalued. And I was actually very interested in owning Tesla whenever it went pretty close to a hundred dollars per share. I sold one hundred dollar puts on Tesla but I ended up not getting assigned and since then the stock is up a lot so it was a mistake on my own end maybe I should have bought some shares instead of selling puts but, but I did make something good on the premium but I'm gonna talk about Tesla today I'm not gonna try to make the argument if it's a car company or a tech company other people can do that I'm just gonna look at some data that I have and some numbers to give you my valuation model again I have to say that I'm not an expert on uh, Tesla there's a lot of channels on YouTube all they do is just cover Tesla Tesla. So there's a lot of deep stuff that I don't personally understand. But again, as an outsider, I'm going to look at all the news and all the data that I have and try to come up with a fair valuation model on something like uh, Tesla. So to start with the bad news, again, which I believe is bad news, a lot of people say this is uh, bullish, but I don't think it's bullish. And it's mainly the you know price cuts in, in terms of the Model S and the Model X, not only in the United States, but also in China. This is as of August 16th, Tesla cut Model S and Model X prices over 6% in China. And this was not the first time they did cut them a lot in China, because they are facing a lot of competition from different players like Neo and many others. Now the Price cuts have helped the volume in terms of Tesla in August, between August 7th to August 13th. The insurance registrations of premiums actually went up a lot whenever Tesla made the price cuts. So the volume was very, very good. It rebounded massively in August whenever they did the price cuts. But now we are in September. And between September 4th through September 10th, Tesla's volume is down 16%, while Neo's volume is up 15%. So this is even after all the price cuts that Tesla actually made. Now, personally, again, I don't think this is bullish. Price cuts are not bullish. They reduce margin. They would, you know, show some kind of a lack in brand loyalty. Maybe people are trying out other brands, so maybe there's not much of a competitive advantage in China in terms of, you know, electric vehicles. People are wanting to buy, you know, something other than Tesla. This is just the way it is. This is why price cuts are being made in China. Maybe it's for different kind of reasons, but I personally believe it has to do with fierce competition. And again, you might believe otherwise, but this is what I uh, personally think. And it hasn't only happened in China, also in the United States. Something like the Model X, it was starting out at 121,000 at the start of the year, and now it's selling for 80,000. Now, again, I don't think this is bullish. I don't think this is for good reasons. The economy is weak. The, cost, the cars were overpriced. Tesla is trying to you know, increase demand, so they are lowering prices, just supply demand dynamics. This is just the way it is. So again, some of it has to do maybe to qualify for some kind of tax credit. But on the Model S and the Model X, I personally believe it has to do with lack of demand with a weaker, you know, weaker than expected demand for electric vehicles and the high-end cars of Tesla in general in the United States. This is what price cuts are to me. Again, I don't personally believe this is bullish and it has been impacting the operating margins for Tesla. They peaked at 17.5% in 2022. And as Tesla was starting to cut prices, they went down to 15%. And now they are around 10.5%. And actually on the latest quarter, they came in at nine or 9.5% nine in terms of operating margins. So operating margins have been cut down by more than 50 percent this is not bullish at all just you know my personal opinion now a lot of analysts are expecting a rebound in operating margins next year or the year after once tesla finds more operating efficiencies within their factories and stuff this is very very possible but so far price cuts for me personally again they are actually not uh, bullish and another risk we have to think of with tesla not only with tesla but also with apple and many other kind of companies is their china exposure now there's a lot of geopolitical issues between united states and china you know china is trying to ban a government official from owning iphones there's a lot of you know different stuff between united states and china and tesla does have massive exposure to china over 750,000 in terms of capacity 
city they are actually uh, in shanghai china for the model 3 and the model y in terms of production now again uh, tesla has been diversifying they have a lot of factories opening up in texas they have some in california some in berlin they're working on something in nevada and many other places so tesla is diversifying but they are still somewhat reliant on china and this is unlike other times a risk that we actually have to factor in in maybe some kind of our valuation model but again looking now at the good stuff with tesla that tesla is riding a massive tailwind over 24 and a half percent CAGR is expected for the ev market by 2030 and tesla is riding this trend and it will most likely either grow with the market 24 and a half percent in revenues or maybe a little bit above the market because tesla is the leader in this area there's a lot of other businesses that could be massive you know uh, upside potential with something like tesla they could bring in massive massive revenue growth one of them is the charging stations gm and ford they are actually trying to adopt the tesla chargers because tesla has an amazing and wide you know fast actually charging stations in the united states and many other places so gm and ford they are trying to adopt those stations. this could be a massive massive business opportunity for something like tesla something else that could be an amazing opportunity is the cyber truck i don't personally believe it's the best looking truck in the world but you know people like it over 1.9 million orders around a five-year wait time just for people to get the tesla cyber truck so this is another massive potential you know for revenue generator revenue growth for something like tesla something else is the tesla mega packs this has been widely used with a lot of different places and they could generate up to 400 billion dollars by you know something in year 40 and over 1 trillion dollars by 2040. now i'm not sure if i'm personally going to believe that but i did read in a lot of articles that the tesla mega packs could be a massive massive revenue generator and and profitability generator for something like tesla again for me i'm not factoring this in my valuation model for me this is some kind of a call option where if it does go to something like 400 billion by 2030 which is ridiculous but if it ever gets there or, or something like you know even half of that that could be maybe some kind of a call option within the company at least this is how i personally you know think about it something else that could be again amazing there's a lot of stuff with tesla is actually you know the semi-electric truck there's something with pepsico as Pe pepsico is trying to adopt them it's trying to you know uh, order a lot of them and maybe they can be widely used in the future tesla is one of the you know the first players to actually enter the space maybe one of the only players in terms of autonomy so that could be you know something pretty exciting to watch for and again i think about all those things as some kind of a call option with the stock i'm not gonna buy tesla because you know something like the semi-electric trucks are gonna be the best in the world or something crazy to me this is just gonna add an extra upside potential you know to the stock and the last one that i want to talk about which i personally don't understand anything around it is something like the dojo supercomputer and this is what you know again morgan stanley is saying that you know it's gonna generate something like 500 billion dollar in market value for tesla by uh, 2030 or something crazy so again this is the way i think about it it's just more you know kind of upside potential with something like tesla it should not be the main case of why you should invest in it now looking at something like a forward p ratio the stock is now sitting at 67 times earnings the mean p ratio was around 103 times earnings the stock bottom somewhere around 23 times earnings this is when i was trying to buy it but i didn't get assigned on my put options and 68 times earnings might look very very expensive on the surface but this is why i have my own valuation model to determine a fair price on something like tesla Tesla. I know most of you are going to hold Tesla for years and years and this is pretty amazing but I normally look at over the next five years within my own valuation model because it protects me from overpaying because any stock you run a valuation model on is going to look undervalued over the next 10 to 15 years this is just the way it is and I believe it causes a lot of people to overpay which is why I try to limit myself with a double every five years for the minimum and after the five years then I can decide if I want to hold the stock for the long term or not so for my own valuation model i use 23 percent for 2023 and then 20 percent between 2024 to 2027 now i believe 23 percent is what tesla is guiding for 2023 i think you know this is a pretty fair estimate i think they will most likely beat it they always pretty much not always but a lot of times they do actually beat on those revenue and production growth numbers pretty amazing from tesla but then the analysts they have something between 28 percent to 14 percent pretty crazy numbers but for me personally 
actually, after doing some research on Tesla, I would not bet on it going more than 20%. Now, this is possible. Maybe Tesla will beat. Maybe some like the supercomputer or whatever, microcomputer or whatever. It could generate something crazy within Tesla. It could be 25 or 30%. But this is not something I would count on. I don't want to bet on the best case scenario. I want to bet on the mid to worst case scenario. And I believe 20% is fair. I think most of you can agree. For net income margins, I used 14%. Now, the current net income margins are actually like 11.8%, but I'm expecting a rebound to around 14% level once Tesla finds more efficiencies and they can, you know, stabilize margins and prices again. So again, this is a, maybe the bullish case scenario, but I think 14% net income margin is fair. Using 40 times earnings, which might sound expensive, but it's pretty much twice the growth. So if Tesla continues growing 20% with 14% margins, I believe 35 to 40 times earnings is, is a pretty fair multiple for something like Tesla. So using the 40 times earnings, I'm only getting 37% on the upside or 6.5% compounded for the next five years. Now, for me personally, this is extremely, extremely low. And for me to get a double on something like Tesla, I would have to pay no more than $183 per share. $183 per share is where the stock was trading at in May of 2023. I mean, it could still go there. It's, it's possible. But again, I believe Tesla right now looks a little bit overvalued. Now, if you're holding it for the next 10 to 15 years, it might not be, you know, so overvalued. But looking at some five years number with pretty fair estimates, you know, I'm not seeing Tesla being a bargain at such prices. Just, you know, my personal opinion, but just using a base case scenario with using some margin of safety, I wouldn't personally pay more than $180 per share for something like Tesla. And I would personally prefer it more than $120, around $120, 125 I personally believe this would be a pretty, you know, conservative estimate for Tesla if it trade at something like, you know, like 30 times earnings, it would be around $137 per share. So around this range, I believe Tesla would be an amazing buying opportunity. But to, at $275, I personally believe it's overvalued. You know, it doesn't mean that the stock can't go higher. It doesn't mean that the market can get more irrational. But using some basic numbers, I, I don't think Tesla is a bargain here. And again, I would like it, you know, I mean, no more than 185, but closer to 120 to 125. So this was no financial advice, of course. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press the like button and maybe consider subscribing. So I hope to see you in another video.